Today we're removing the door panel, the rear door panel, from a Ford Focus 2012. Uh, the main difference between the front and rear door panel is this one has a manual window crank where the front has uh, uh, power windows. Uh, we're going to start with a pry tool and there's a small panel, in, round panel in this opening here. And we're going to pry towards the back part of it to try and lift it up. There we go. And remove this panel. What this is going to do is expose a T20 torque screw here in the opening, and we're going to remove that screw. Next, we're going to take our pry bar and start at the front edge of this panel around the uh, top of the armrest here. A little bit of pry pressure and pull pressure at the same time, and the panel snaps, pops right off. Uh, there are several clips that'll go back down in, and you smack. Uh, tap it down into place when you go to put it back in place. This is going to uh, expose two T25 screws, one at the back opening that's exposed from removing this cover, and one here at the front, we're removing both these. We have uh, other removal instructions, I mentioned the car stereo and the front door panel removal on our website at carstereohelp.com. Uh, next we're going to Remove the window crank. Now, what it is is there's a shaft coming out of the door that the door handle fits on, and there's a C clamp that sits on the door handle itself that secures it to the uh, post coming out of the door. Now, if you look closely, there's two pieces here. Usually, pushing the door panel in a little bit will put a space between these two pieces, and you can see the clip down in here. And we're going to uh, push on the door panel and put our round. Uh, tool because usually the clip sits, usually it sits here on this side, on this side of the handle underneath the cover. And we're going to go in and try and find the edge of it and pull it to release it. And then we can show you how that works here in a little bit. I'm going to push on the door panel, get between these two panels. And I can see the clip in there. You have to put your pick tool in, get around it, and pull it towards the end of the handle. There we go. Okay. Now that's going to remove the uh, panel. Now what we have here is the uh, C-clamp. Uh, this normally fits on the door handle. We can put it back on now because it'll just snap back onto the door. And this, this clip fits right back into, uh, it's pushed right back into place. Whoop. That was a good one. Earthquake. Uh, that's how the clip sits on there. This panel has a, uh, a little uh, key on it, so when it fits back on the door panel, it fits on this way, and then this panel will go back on and snap right back on. Now what you're trying to do is you're trying to get between these two panels and find this clip right here and put your pick tool right into the edge of this and, it, and pull it away so that it releases the two locks. Okay, this does take a little bit of pressure. Here, and that's how the clip releases and then the door knob can come off. But we're going to put the clip back on so that uh, it'll be uh, here when we go to put the door handle back on. I do suggest if you do this, don't do it over the grass. Many times the clip will pop to the ground and without that clip this is not going back on and staying. Okay, now we have all uh, the three screws removed, the door handle removed. And next we're going to take our pry bar again. And we're going to place our knee down on the edge of the door panel because we're going to be pulling this panel and we don't want to close ourselves into the door. So my knee is going to hold the door back and we're going to pry underneath the edge of this panel. There are clips along the, the edges of this panel and from the front door panel we recognize that these clips are very tough clips. And we've got our tool in and we're going to grab the edge of the panel and try and pull it to release it. I said these clips can be difficult. Ooh, that sounds like it's terrible. So we're gonna work our way up the front and the back. Releasing these clips.
one real tough clip way down here in the panel, obviously. Well, normally the door panel does not come off that difficult, but I don't know if you noticed during the removal there, we did lose a couple of clips down into the ground here, but we're going to get to that. Now the uh, door panel is removed from the door, but we still have the linkage for the door handle here, and there's a little trigger here at the top that we're going to take this trigger and push it that way, and it releases two little locks which at the same time will allow you to grasp this and wiggle this straight away from the door panel just like that and this is how you remove the linkage now to put this back it just goes right back into place and snaps into place so that when you go to put that back so now we've removed that now this is the uh, back of the door panel uh, I did go around and round up two clips that we lost when removing the door panel and I found the two spots that they go to because I've checked all the others around the door panel and these the back end of the tabs slide into little slots and lock there in place we're going to put these both back in place and have this panel ready for uh, reinstallation when we get their speaker replaced now we are back at the speaker the front speaker when we removed it had two uh, 25 Torx and one 5 16 uh, this one happens to have three 516, so I'm not sure if the front door panel, we were the first to take that off. But uh, there is a connector coming to the speaker. It's right here. There's a little trigger on it. You push this trigger, squeeze it in down towards the connector, and you can wiggle it loose. Uh, this is keyed, so it goes back in in only one spot. Uh, again, I mentioned our, the front door panel and the car stereo removal guides can be found on our website at carstereohelp.com. Uh, we have many other Ford removal guides there for the Focus and so on, other years. But we're going to remove these three screws. And this will uh, allow us to grab the frame of the speaker and uh, remove this. Uh, this is how you remove the speaker, rear speaker, from a Ford Focus 2012. Hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching. See our other videos at carstereohelp.com. Uh, our most up-to-date list can be found there. And thank you for watching.